here at CBS 8, we're working for our community and we want to share with you how others are doing the same. In less than two weeks, the Don Coriel Charity Golf Classic will tee off to benefit the Boys and Girls Club of Greater San Diego Payne Family Branch. That's in National City. Uh, joining us now with more on the event is the daughter of the legendary football coach Don Coriel, Mindy Coriel Lewis, and Steve South, CEO of Edco and a longtime supporter of the Boys and Girls Club. Thank you for being here today. Uh, first off, I have to get to congratulations with what we're celebrating this year. After years of waiting, way too long, your father's being inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. How, how good does that feel? Oh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's just been a whirlwind. Lots of stuff going on, lots of planning, but just such an honor. And you'll be celebrating that. Uh, that's going to be part of this year's tournament. Yes, yes, we're, we're, we moved the tournament up. Usually it's in October and we decided to take advantage of this and, and uh, have it in July so we can celebrate it. That is just fantastic. And I, I can ask both of you guys, why, why specifically this location? Well, uh, Coach's first quarterback at San Diego State was Wayne Severe. Okay. And Wayne went on to a legendary career in the NFL, won two Super Bowl rings, uh, and was a member of the National City Branch. And Wayne passed away in the late 90s, okay. and Coach wanted to honor his first quarterback. And so Coach got involved in that time. And since that time, we've raised over a million dollars uh, through Coach's efforts. And when Coach passed, Mindy took the torch. It's quite the legacy. I mean, for people, I can't believe they wouldn't know, but Don Coriel was San Diego. I mean, through and through, born, raised, coached at San Diego State, then the Chargers. It wasn't just the Chargers. It was so much more. Um, how, what kind of reaction are you getting from former players and people who coach with him? Will there be participation in this? Yeah, we do have a few coming out. Um, we've, we've had some that have always played. Willie Buchanan always plays every year. Hank Bauer plays every year in MCs. And... Um, uh, we've got some more coming out, and it's just so much fun to get back in touch with some of them that have been maybe not as visible uh, to me, uh, but just to get back with them, it's really fun. And all of them will have the same reaction I did to you. Finally, congratulations. Yes. Everybody's yes. been pulling for that for Lots so long. Lots of texts, yeah. yeah. Steve, why are you involved? Why is Edco involved? Well, you know, we're a family-owned and operated company, so it's important to us to be part of the community. National City is very special to us. Uh, the one thing about Coach, though, is that he has a legendary NFL uh, coaching tree, but I don't think people realize how involved he was uh, with regards to the community. We have the Coriel Field at the Payne Branch, and again, over a million dollars uh, is a pretty substantial effort. And we, we like to partner with Coach. He was a was a great customer for many years on Mount Helix. <laughs> so we like to support our customers. That, that is just fantastic. And what are, for you, what are some of the highlights? What are you looking forward to this year especially? Well, with the Hall of Fame, it's just a phenomenal event. Uh, everybody, we've got a lot of Hall of Fame gear, including uh, every participant's going to get a Coach Coriel hat. For fantastic. those of us who are follically challenged, like myself, <laughs> uh, during July 4th, it helps quite a bit. Uh, but there is also a lot of other Hall of Fame gear because the Hall of Fame event in August, nationally televised, right. uh, Mindy will be there providing speeches and, and uh, overseeing everything. It's just a special event this year. And, and we're just hoping that so many people benefited from Saturday nights at San Diego State, Sunday afternoons, uh, with the Chargers, that whether they play or not, that they can come out or participate through San Diego Youth.org. Uh, hit the site, whether they make a contribution, whether they play in the event, whether they just attend. It's July 14th, Steel Canyon, and we hope everybody comes out or supports Coach's efforts as he supported us and brought us so much joy. Exactly. We're, we're almost out of time. Mindy, I do want to ask you that part. We know the coach, the success on the field. Uh, what is it like to celebrate him as, as a mentor and somebody who supported his community? Any way I can celebrate him, I want to celebrate him because he was just amazing as a dad and as a coach and as a, a community member. He just um, was so charming. Just <laughs> and he was so good at everything he did. 
most things, not driving. <laughs> well, now we know his weak yeah. spot. <laughs> now we know his weak spot. Mindy Coriel, Lewis, uh, Steve South, thank you so much. Boys and Girls Club, uh, Greater San Diego, but the Payne Branch in National City, July 14th. We have a, a graphic to put up on that. Uh, the Don Coriel Charity Golf Classic. You mentioned it once, but it's good to mention it twice. July 14th starts at 9 a.m. at the Steel Canyon Golf Course. For more information, you can head to our website, cbsa.com, and click on the Help button. And as always, if you know of a deserving organization we would profile, please email us at workingforyou at cbsa.com. Thank you so much for being here.